you so much for answering our mayday. You reported multiple electrical failures on board. Is the vessel seaworthy? Uh, I have no idea. Right, do you wish to evacuate? Yeah, yeah, I do. I I'm not sure about him, though. Hi. Jack Henty, thanks for your assistance, Mike. The world can be a lonely place when you're in a submarine. You managed to surface, I see. Yeah, Jack was amazing. I didn't think we were going to make it, actually. I'm, um, I'm Tracy McQueen, by the way. And Njord is a research sub? Yes, a two-man Mark IV. Might not be new, but it's got a very good safety record. I'm sure whatever's wrong is fixable. Jack, we could have died. Go on, Tracy, it was just an electrical short. You, uh, you don't have a Sparky on board, do you? <laughs> no, you're not gonna get me in that thing. Two people can actually survive in this thing, eh? Five days at a time. Marine scientists are a strange breed. I think the problem's in here. Okay, let's take a look. What's going on? What's that? Don't give me that look. You're supposed to be the expert. Hold on. What? Hold on, we're going down. Leader Nord. Are you receiving Nord over? I tried VHF, UHF. I've got no response. Was the radio boy deployed when it sank? Tracy said that it was deployed during the first emergency, but no one recalls seeing it on the surface when we got here. So we don't even know if they can hear us. If they're alive, if they manage to deploy the radio boy, it might be too deep to receive. All I know is I'm getting nothing now. Well, they could still be alive if the ship's still intact. Jack gave us the strong impression the vessel was sound. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just... Look, Jack's just really keen for us to finish our job. I mean, we're both scientists, but he's the glass half full type. And what type of person are you? Well, I'm the pragmatic one. I mean, you wouldn't get me down there without a team of experts giving it the OK. What was the purpose of your dive? Uh, it's a government-sponsored dive, collecting samples. Look, I'd, um, I'd like to use your radio to inform our mothership. That won't be possible. We're in a naval emergency situation. I've initiated a communications lockdown. There's no traffic outside our procedural essentials. Sorry. If you need any assistance, we're here. Well, your assistance won't be required, but we appreciate the offer. Thank you. Over. we got. The vessel arrived about three minutes ago in response to the original May Day. Tanker Row 3 out of Townsville. You sure? Yes, very sure, and we need to keep this area clear for arriving rescue vessels, so we would appreciate you moving on. Over. Roger that. Yeah. Sorry, is it possible I could get a lift on that boat? Well, I've got to communicate with the outside world somehow. I mean, Jack has relatives. I'll be concerned. Well, once again, I apologise. We'll be required to stay and make a formal statement. Sir, we need to check the echo sounder and locate the exact position of that sub. Good idea. X, have we marked the last surface coordinates uh, of the sub? Yes, sir, we have. Let's make a slow sweep over that position. Steer 270. Steer 270. Tell us when, X. 100 metres, sir. Of course, 270. Slow to 500. Here we go. 
right on the money. Sitting on the bottom about 70 meters. Way too deep to dive. What is that? Never seen that before. Seismic activity? It looks like something coming to the surface. There he is. Man in the water, man in the water, man in the water. Three, four, five. Yeah, keep it coming. Easy. All right, let's get him in. I need some help. One, two, three. Right, let's get this off him quick. I don't have much head. Two dads. Two dads. So where's two dads? I was mayhem down there. I barely got out myself. I realize you've been through a traumatic time, but the safety of my crew member is paramount to me. He's dead. We were accessing the escape suit. I was in the escape hatch when there was an explosion. We were both thrown around. I could see through the port. He, he was unconscious and bleeding. I couldn't get back in, so I surfaced. He was in a bad way. He wasn't going to make it. So you just left him? Well, I was in the escape hatch already. I, I, I couldn't get back in. Was the sub taking water? No, but I think the ballast tanks had vented because of an electrical fault. You've placed my crew member in a life-threatening situation here, Mr. Henty. Had I realized that... No one could have known. I'm sorry. Well, two dads might still be alive. And unlike you, I'm not just going to leave him. Sir, I think we should shut down the engines, turn off anything electrical, anything that makes any noise. I want to head down to the hull and take a listen. You think we might hear something from the submarine? The sound travels for miles through water. It's worth a shot. Closing down port engine. We'll need bilge pumps off too. Deactivating bilge pumps okay, now, if sir. If there's any washing machines or dryers on in the laundry, they'll need to be shut down too. All right, exhaust fans in the galley charge. Right, I can close them down from up here, ma'am. Very good. Shut down. Yeah, I know. I understand. I just need you to be quiet. This isn't much. What was that? He's that. He's alive.
What does that mean? His Morse code's terrible. I don't understand what he's trying to say. I'll tell the CEO. Maxine, I hope you've got some good news about that rescue submersible. It's en route, but it's at least four hours away. Well, that's a long time for two, Dads. That's the time it's going to take. I'll keep you updated. Understood. Thanks. So this rescue submersible, it is capable of docking with this type of sub? Yeah, uh, yeah. according to the schematics, that shouldn't be a problem. Navcom contacted the manufacturer who sent these through. You won't believe this. Look at that. What? The radio boy cable. The specs say it's 50 metres long. It's, it's a pity it's not 20 metres longer, because the sub's sitting in the bottom of the ocean. And two dads is 70 metres down. Where's Jack? He's in the water room. You told me my crewman was dead. Obviously, I was wrong. I'm not getting the full story here, am I? What the hell went on down there? Sir. I think that we should charge him. Section 14? Yeah. Well, we've got enough evidence already. We can go you, ahead. you can't do that. Oh, yes, we can. Section 14 gives us wide-ranging powers at sea. You want to test it? All right. We were getting ready to evacuate the sub. One of the escape suits was ripped. I don't know how, maybe in the initial emergency. We fought over the good suit. I hit him. He fell backwards, hit his head. So he was unconscious? And you just left him? Well, it's easy to judge me from here. He would have done the same thing. There was a way out for only one of us. You think I like myself for this? You'll be confined to Austere for the duration of this voyage. Now, I need to know, was the radio boy deployed? Yes, yes, Sparky and I tried the radio repeatedly. Obviously, we were too deep. But the radio, is it still activated? Yes, most of the systems are still functioning. Thanks for playing along with Section 14. That sounded good, whatever it means. If anything happens to two dads, I promise you that man is history. tap and two dads taps at least he knows we're here what's that noise oh that's why I came down we have to start the engines Sorry, Robert. The current's been pushing us too far away from the target. Right, well, that'd be good if I could explain that to two dads. We need to be at the right coordinates to facilitate this rescue. Sir so, Arrow is right. Two dads is completely cut off. He has no idea what is going on. I understand, but there's no way we can meaningfully communicate with him. His radio boy is 20 metres too deep to receive a signal. It's only 20 metres down, so a diver could get to it. We could get a diver to attach a coaxial cable to the radio boy. We could build an antenna and float it on the surface directly above him. Is that doable? Yeah. Yeah, the antenna's easy enough. It's just a circle of coax cable. Held on the surface by floats. Get started. OK, now we, we probably will have to purloin some coax cable from non-essential radio systems. When you say purloin, steal. Borrow. Borrow. To be replaced afterwards, no damage. Fine. 
do it. Means. Hey, that looks good. Yeah, hope so. So, these go around the perimeter. Yeah, yeah, they're meant to be evenly spaced around the thing. Uh, the boss wants to know how long. Just tell him that's a very good question. You asked to see me, Mr. Henty? Yes, look, I, uh, I keep thinking about your man down there. So do I. Well, I feel bad about how things turned out. He's going to be rescued, right? Is there a point to this? I want you to know exactly what's at stake here, why I was so... Uh, why I wanted to keep the sub working. The whole enterprise has been somewhat secret for a reason. This is it. What am I looking at? It's a form of anthozoa. Subspecies of coral, it's so rare we haven't got a name for it yet. Hey, I heard you released Jack. Did you save the specimen? Just? Oh, thank God. I'm sorry, what's so special about this? Um, it's it's medical properties. Initial trials have proved that it dissolves arterial plaque. Could help end heart disease. If that works, that would make this one of the most valuable naturally occurring medicines in the world. That's right. I appreciate your honesty. This isn't worth the life of my crewman. Oh, no. Good, Ro. Thank you. Real good. Okay, Cable. You can pass me the ring. Okay, drop it in. Right. We're doing what we can, right? It's a work charge. Yep, it's done. So, moment of truth. HMAS Hammersley to submersible Nord. Do you receive me over? HMAS Hammersley to Submersible Nord. Are you receiving over? No, not. Doesn't matter. What? Well, at that depth, he may have decided that the radio was useless and turned it off to save power, maybe. HMAS Hammersley to Submersible calling Nord. Calling Hammersley Nord, calling Hammersley. Can you hear me? We can hear you, two dads. Thank God for that. 
Had us a bit worried there. Listen, bro, I was hit. We're aware of that too, Dads. I'm running low on oxygen, bro. Breathing is getting hard. What are you getting me out of here, bro? Uh, we have a rescue submersible en route. ETA. Three hours. Uh, sir, these schematics, they have the, the air purification system and here's the entire electrics. So if air quality is an electrical issue, we might be able to work it out from here. Quick as you can. Bro, here. Two dads. Sir? We have the subspecs here. We're going to try and locate the oxygen problem for you. Over. Okay. Prefer to get out there, sir. Well, that's clearly not possible at the moment, is it, too, Dad? So just wait for the chief engineer's report, OK? Yeah, look, I'm going to have to go somewhere where I can concentrate. Yeah. <clears throat> Aro, can you try to be a little more uh, sensitive when you're talking to two dads? Because he's at the bottom of the ocean on his own. You know, he needs, uh, well, he needs a friend. And, it, and you've done a great job, so you take a break. Yeah. Swain? Swain. Take a break, go. Bro? Want a coffee, Aro? It's fresh. Uh, no, I'll get my own later. You don't like my coffee? Um, there's something that you do to it, I'm not sure what it is, but it, it just makes it taste tinny. Fine. Remind me not to offer you a But would you say that I'm a sensitive person? I don't think you often put yourself in other people's shoes. No. Uh, why would I want to do that? Sometimes, if you think about what another person is going through, you realise you've experienced similar emotions yourself. So? So, it, it helps you to understand how they might be feeling. It helps you to be sensitive to their needs at that time. And you don't think that I'm good at that? Sometimes I think you're so truthful it hurts. But I think there's a lot you don't share too. So if you want to be more sensitive, you may have to look at changing that. Oh, sir, I just got an update from Navcom. The rescue submersible's still two hours away. Well, that's too late to help two dads if his air runs out. Yes, it is. Someone should teach Bird how to make a real cup of coffee. What's the verdict, Church? Oh, I think the problem's with the sub-CO2 scrubbers. Mm, just give me another five minutes. Just get it right. Can't afford not to. Okay. Oh, what is, what is this? No! What? Come on, come on, don't do this. Ah. Uh, What's happening, uh, Judge? I have no idea. Couple one minute it was there, now it's gone. I did a crash. Well, I think it's worse than that. We can't get it back. OK. OK. It's gone. Um, I just have to um, download the specs again from Navcom. We can't. Sorry? Uh, we don't have any internet. Are you sure? Yeah, we used the coax cable to build the floating antenna. It was the most expendable. Without that information, we can't save two dads. You've got to think of something. HMAS Hammersley to submersible Nord. Um, I've got good news and bad news. Oh, geez, just good news, Robert. Come on! Uh, we... We can't help you just yet. Uh, two dads, there's technical issues. Two dads, are you there? 
Not going anywhere, am I, Robert? I understand how you must feel. With respect, Robert, no one could possibly understand how I feel. Robert? Uh, yeah, I'm here. What if I opened up the hatch? I'm gonna die anyway. Might as well make a swim for it. Two dads, you won't make it. There's no, there's no way you'll die. You know we get what we deserve, Robert, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It doesn't matter. Lack of oxygen talking. Tudets, can I tell you a story? Captive audience, bro. Uh, when I was... Six years old, and I was, I was living with my father, who was an alcoholic. That's supposed to make me feel better? Uh, I... I talked back to him, or I'd, um... I complained, or... I can't even remember, but he locked me in a wardrobe. It was cold and dark, and for a six-year-old, it was... It was horrible. Um, what are you doing? I'm pretty good with PCs. I thought I'd take a look. Right, because you're young and you're the expert. No. Well, is it working? Well, your basic operating system's working. All your files have been corrupted, though. A virus, maybe? No, it's got state-of-the-art antivirus protection on it. I'm just telling you what it looks like. Wait a minute. Maybe I can do it with these. Maybe I can talk two dads through it based on these notes. Have you got enough there? Yeah, there and up here. Yeah, out there. I need to concentrate. I was bashing my knee against the wardrobe door so much that the skin came off. He didn't come for you, huh? Well, no. About... Oh, God, I was in there for hours. About 3 a.m. I managed to get the wardrobe door open and I came out and he was asleep. I picked up the bottle that he'd been drinking out of and I smashed him over the head with it. Um, thought he'd fallen over. My knee got infected, I've still got a scar. Still hate the dark. Robert? Yeah, I'm here. I panicked. Those damn sc escape suits like kids. I lost it. I understand, dude. It's, it's okay. Okay. Guess I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Two dads, we're ready to fix the CO2 scrubbers. I'll patch it through to charge. You there, two dads? Hey, big buddy. You're gonna tell me how to rewire stuff, huh? Hey, I'm the man with the specs. Yes, you are. Okay. Um, we know that you've got power to your radio, so that's where we start. Understood. There's a junction box under the radio desk. Oh, yeah, got it. You need to open that box. You see three lights in there? 
Yep, I'm saying. What color are they? All green. Good. Okay. Um, go to the other side of the room. Halfway up the wall, there's another box. Let's see. Open it. Inside, there's a series of wires attached to terminals. I got it, Judge. Disconnect the green one. I got it. Okay, the wire that you've disconnected, the other end of that is under a panel to the left. Sorry, wait. It's, it's to the right of you. It's labelled electrical access. I see it, Judge. You need to open it. It's the third green wire from the top. Grab it and pull it through the conduit, about four metres of it. They've all been cut. Say again? All the wires all cut. Mm. I'm losing. There's scorch marks in there. Cut wires that close to each other. That, that would have caused shorts through the whole electrics. Judge, I think this is where the problem started. These wires have been cut deliberately. Somebody just sabotaged this ship, Judge. Two dads told us the wires had definitely been cut. And that did not happen by itself. Why would either of us put our lives in jeopardy? But your lives aren't in jeopardy, are they? It's only two dads' life at stake here. I did not engineer this. What would I gain? The most expensive natural medicine in the world? Tracy. Tracy. She did it to damage the sun, to bring us to the surface. Maybe we'll get her side of the story too. But under the circumstances, I want that vial in the ship safe. It's in my cabin. After you. It's not here. Are you sure you left it? Yes, I put it here. You were with me. So was Tracy. Ma'am? Yeah. Rubber Nick is at a road accident. Just wait here. Thanks, Jack. Kangaroo 3, this is Australian warship Hammersley. Are you receiving over? Over. Uh, why are you entering a restricted zone when you were ordered to stay clear? Over. We're returning from our fishing trip. Thought you might need our help. Over. Well, you are hereby ordered to steer clear of this area, otherwise you'll be escorted away. Over. Okay, keep your shirt on. We're going. Search the entire ship. I can't find her anywhere. Sir, there's a wetsuit and scuba gear missing from the lockers. She could have had access to my computer when I left it in the ship's office. Uh, sir, uh, we're tracking with Tangaro 3. I think you should see this. Jack, take a look. That boat didn't just turn up out of nowhere in response to the original Mayday. She planned all this. She was going to use it to get away with the sample. Yes. It was so simple, she knew I'd never leave the sub. I think all that went wrong for Tracy was that we turned up first. 
All right. Let's get a rib in the water. Aren't they too far away? Just watch us. Does manual ballast fin adjust mean what I think it means? Yes. It's worth a try. Uh, yes, it does too, Dads. It manually opens and closes the ballast tank air vents. But the pressure could make it impossible to move. Is that you, Jack? Yes. Remind me to punch you. I look forward to it. Look, you can't get the sub to surface if those vents won't close. Try closing them manually. With the wheel thingy? Right, that should close the vents. Then try the pump again. With the vents closed, the sub should rise. Dads? Mind your head. Ma'am, you're being charged with the theft of the coral. Sit down. And the theft of Royal Australian Navy equipment. I worked just as hard for that sample as Jack did. You shut up. Don't say anything. Where is the sample, ma'am? I don't know. Right, we're going to have to search the boat till we find it. Third, Flybridge. Do you work for this drug company, sir? You don't want to talk about it? Start with this compartment here. Keep searching till we got... Who said you could come up here? Sit down. Wait, 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 wait. Give no, me that. Don't. Drop it. Sit down. Next time you stand up, I'm going to put cuffs on you. Is this a drug company who's been paying you to betray your partner? Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's over now. Yeah, well, for you, maybe. We still got a man down there. Yes. Son of a... Okay, 
So you've got a beautiful voice, don't you? Yeah! Come here, buddy. You got him? Well done, buddy. Good to see you in one piece, two dads. I just wanted to say, I couldn't have done it without you guys. It was pretty bad there for a little while, sir. Where's Robert? Geez, bro, you're not going to start streaking to celebrate my homecoming, are you? No, I haven't had a shower in 48 hours. You get very effective deodorant, bro. I tend not to exude odour. Bro. Thank you for... Look, I need to apologise. Apology? No way, mate. Yeah, I told you a lie. I made up that story. I thought that you needed to hear something that would make you think that I could relate. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's, um, it's fine. <laughs> Thing is, I didn't, um, I didn't panic either. I don't know why I said that. Swain's waiting to patch me up and the boss is going to crack open an alcohol ration. Can you join us? Yeah. I'll just um, have a shower first. 